This Team 12's Colleen Sakura is live for us on I-10 near Chandler Boulevard, where the worst of the damage happened. Colleen, a lot is left to be cleaned up out there. Yeah, it's a lot to clean up out here, and you can still see some of it behind us here. DPS crews have done a lot of work today. Much of this wreckage was actually sitting in the lanes of traffic, but they've gotten so much cleaned up and moved out that they were able to open the HOV lane and two left lanes, as you guys mentioned. But it's believed that the semi truck that caused all of this was actually carrying trash. So between that and the wreckage from the fire, it, it was a lot. But DPS says that this was all the result of a chain reaction that could have been prevented. What ended here at Chandler Boulevard on I-10 going towards Tucson began eight miles south after a semi caught fire on the 10 near Riggs and DPS had to shut down the freeway. Then in the backup, look at what an ADOT camera captured. That appeared to be a, maybe a truck driver that possibly wasn't paying attention and didn't slow down and struck the uh, back of other uh, stopped stationary semis. In total, four semis in that crash at Wild Horse Pass, which caused more backup. I heard the loud bang and then I saw the flames. Mark Schaefer seeing the aftermath at Chandler Boulevard in the I-10. It was just a, a horrific loud crash. What followed is four hours of crews working to put out vehicles on fire wedged between two semis. Those vehicles became fully engulfed and that's where we have our fatalities. Five people dying. I said prayers for that family. A semi truck driver believed to have caused this crash too. DPS Captain Keith Gephardt saying this was likely preventable. Appeared maybe they, that driver may not have been paying attention again. We're still investigating, but uh, did not appear to have slowed down very much, if at all. Combing through the wreckage, vehicles hard to recognize from the crash in flames, asking everyone on the road to pay better attention. If we all go about our driving, thinking about the other people on the road as if they were our family members. Um, we would probably drive a little bit differently. And at, again, the HOV lane and two left lanes here on the I-10 eastbound heading towards Tucson are now reopened. Crews have been working all day just to get those lanes open, and they're going to be continuing to work to get these right three lanes open as well. They're starting to put some sandbags down and stuff to start getting the street sweepers through here as well. So we will, of course, keep you updated on air and online as this opens back up. But for now, we're live on the I-10. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.